All right, I'm gonna do the next part here. To the, talking about the trend, the trend of rap music, or just rap period, as you, as you would commonly know it, whoever's listening, uh, it would just be rap. But the trend of rap music. <clears throat> uh, so, I think this is two, the second one. So, um, if you're not on the West Coast, you done. You ain't doing nothing, really. You're just having fun. You don't matter. Ain't nobody, don't nobody have to pay attention to you. You ain't saying a damn thing new if you ain't on the West. Um... I was throwing the pit vipers down, so if you're on the west, you got to get your pair of pit vipers, dog. Sunglasses. Yeah. If you're on the west, too, also, you got to get you get in some grunges, man. Yeah, I'm talking about they deck boots, so get in them. This shit's cool, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's where we at. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so the Okay, it went from um, the pimping. Let's go there. The, uh, the rap went from uh, it went from hanging out. Then it went in the house. Then you start doing drugs in the house. And then the drug got harder, and they went outside. Then you had the drug dealer. Then he started getting money. Then they started hurting people to maintain the, uh, the structure of the business. And then, uh, so you had gangs, and then that was that came out. Um, and I and naturally, you know, it must have been something about the West where they was getting the big loads because they had a big coast. You know what I'm saying? And everybody was rapping on the West, so like from the bottom of Cali to the top, probably. Not much as with the East, you feel me? Like in North Carolina, they probably wasn't making that much noise. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, you know, uh, rapping-wise, you know what I'm talking about? You know you know what I'm saying now. Don't act like you don't know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about? Because cause, uh, I'm going to just hang you up because you already being dumb. So... When I say North Carolina or any of the southern East Coast states wasn't really rocking together with New York, that's what I mean. So when when it went to the West, the rap, it was like L.A. was doing it, you know what I'm saying? And all the, you know, the little, like, kind of boroughs in L.A., like Comp, you would hear Compton a lot, Watts, uh, East L.A., things like that. But, uh, you know, you also had... It was the whole West Coast thing. They was kind of working together to where, oh, rap night. Now you can be cool and rap on the West. Okay, it was rock. You know, it was just, West was just cool. It was gold, everything, the rush. And, you know, you can look at the weed thing like a green rush, too. Um, so that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that. Uh, so we are talking about a topic, you know what I'm saying? If you live in North Carolina, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to say you wouldn't rap it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that's the topic we're talking about is trending. So it went, and if you were to move to a, a southern east coast state, you wouldn't be cool anyway. So, and talking about, I'm, you know, all the brothers in the nation, listen to me, I got something that's deep to say, you know what I'm saying? That wouldn't be you, no way. So... That cat is on the west. And not so much the west coast now, but the northwest. And he's me. <laughs> That's why I'm putting the rap down. Um, I came out with an album called The Church. And cats like me. You know, uh, I came out with a, uh, an album called The Church. Uh, and the artist's name was American Pimp Star 420. 
Um, it came out on Christmas Eve. Yep. Um, and it's, uh, it's available on the platforms all across the board. Probably after a year, it's just going to be available on YouTube. Um, and I, I enjoy YouTube. It, that's something else that's trending. I mean, get you a YouTube channel. I mean, uh, these rappers, they need to have YouTube channels because YouTube, man, that shit infinite. I mean, if you if you rapping <coughs> and you don't have a YouTube channel, fuck you, man. Like, really? I want to know what you, what you got to say. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, again, again, I'm just being a participant in the trend of rap. So, it's not really fuck you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm a man of God, you know what I'm saying? You you still gonna be you and cool. I'm gonna be cool with you, but I'm just saying the reason why you're not in the trend is because you're not easily accessible, you know what I'm saying? On YouTube, you're not a real person. Um, it's a lot of good music coming out from just cats. Just a cat just came out like, what? This mother... Who is this? I don't care. He ain't no superstar, but that song is bamming. You know what I'm saying? Giant. For real. Jumping, you know? So, man, that piff, that piff, man. I wish that piff was what it used to be. It still might be, but because I ain't on it, I highly doubt it. When things went to apps, uh, man, they... You used to could upload anything to that piff, and man, cats did it too. They, it was some great music on there. I guess that's what SoundCloud is now, but I'm not on SoundCloud, so because, and that's what I'm saying. It, you know, the Lord's telling me that yeah, I'm just learning that right now as I'm giving this discourse. But music is done being controlled. It's done being controlled. So, get on YouTube. It's easy. It's free. That's what everybody goes to anyway for links. Do something cool. Put it on their DN. You know, Instagram. I mean, I'm going to talk more about that later. So, you have to have a YouTube page. And you got to be real. B.O.B. He he, he had some uh, videos. He was just talking. That's what's up. That's, That's how you're supposed to be. He was giving game out he was rapping he wasn't rhyming when he was talking and there wasn't no beat behind him but he was rapping he was rapping with you so nine times out of ten about you know you ain't gonna understand what i mean if if you're not black you know and it's not a color it's not a skin color it is an experience it's a culture it's the jew it's it's them cats who was with jesus and way back, Jacob, Abraham, the bloodline of people who were good, of people who were good and struggled and fought to make things right and good, like uh, building a dam or like uh, tilling land or something, you know, things you had to work for, building a bridge, and now it's there, you know what I'm saying? And now it helps a bunch of people, so... Um, um, uh, I forgot what I was saying that to, but nonetheless, um, the West, uh, YouTube, okay, um, putting the rap down, um, uh, the experience of being black. Uh, so, okay. The trend of rap. Pimping. Okay. It was partying. Okay. After the gangs, we said that. Okay. Now, uh, okay. Now that the gang formed just to protect the business of the drugs. Okay. So now, uh after that you got people making some money and now it comes to the south to where they got the money 
uh, uh, they not killing each other to get it. You feel me? Um, it's smoother. Um, uh, drugs is a thing of the past. Violence is a thing of the past. Uh, partying on the corner is a thing of the past. Now is get this type of car, get this type of girl, get this type of jewelry going, and then go take a vacation to the Bahamas. Come back, rap about it. The end. And that, and that's that's where we at now. That shit's been that's been going on, excuse me, for many many years to where you got a cat that is sitting on the top and using his mind to get everybody to work together to where he can make a little bit, he can squeeze out a little bit extra on the side to where he can get this type of car, where he can get this type of girl, take care of this type of girl, where he can get this type of jewelry, where he can take this type of vacation and go on this type of trip and come back and and where he can talk about it and rap about it like it's a system he's working he's working his system <clears throat> and so that's just that that was happening when it was gangs that was happening when it was drug dealers that was happening when it was partying on the corner it was cats like this but they weren't what's important to the black culture to to the Jew to our experience they weren't they, the ball wasn't given to them yet. Like, um, 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 you know, like, like a football team, you know what I'm saying, or a basketball team, you know, you got different positions. So it's like when you give him the ball, he's going to do that. So it's like, you know, for a time, centers were trending, you know, then it was like, in football, I remember uh, wasn't nobody paying attention to the running backs for a long time. Like, who cared about the running back? <laughs> uh, in football, I mean, boxing, like, for a long time, nobody cared, gave a F about the heavyweight division. Things like that. So it's like, where is the trend in rap? So, you know, it went from east to the west to the south. And then the pimping came, started coming around. Then you had the Master P, then you had the Pimp C, uh, so to where this hard man is hardened and he's using his mind, you know what I'm saying, he's staying out of jail, staying out of, out of dying, out the grave, so let's go back to Twister, so he ain't from the South, he's from Chicago, but a lot of pimps coming out out that way from so I so I so I seen. So he had a nice style, a fast style. He had a new crazy style. He was rapping about being on top like a pea. He was You know, but he wasn't on the West. He wasn't from the South. So he was kind of, he wasn't so much weird as E-40. But, you know, as that brother, because he looked kind of South. You know what I'm saying? He he looked like he could be, he, he might be. So I might have my facts messed up, but he might be. <laughs> but he looked it. You know what I'm saying? But if I can remember, he was saying shy a lot, so. So, <clears throat> so the 40 coming, it's coming to the south, the P is coming out, the bird man's now, and like I say, we've been in that, I'm going to take, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my little thing over here, I'm going to squeeze some money out of it, and with the money I squeeze out of the system, I'm working with my mind, I'm going to get some jewelry, take some trips, take some girls out that I find, in this car that's 
beautiful. So, uh, that's we've been doing that for a minute. Uh, so, you know, of course, everybody can't be on top. So, you got a lot of cats that, and, but that's every record though. Hey, yo, I'm going to get in the bag and I'm going to go to the Bahamas, you know, or whatever. I'm, it's always a bag there, <laughs> you know, and it's always a choice to take a trip somewhere with some people that'll, that's down for you, you know, like uh, some of these comedians are coming out with uh, on some programs. Uh, it's like, this is how your rap crew is supposed to act. It's <laughs> very funny. <clears throat> um, so, so you're on the West. You, you on top of the game. You're talking about a father figure. You're on top of something. Okay. You're on the West where it's legal weed. You're on top. You're talking about the top dog rap. You're talking top dog rap. You're not, what is not top dog rap? Uh, Onyx, you feel me? Uh, the Locks, you feel me? They like, yo, yo, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's gorilla, get it. Let's go out here and get it. You know what I'm saying? And don't come in the house till we got some. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> that is not the top dog. That, that's like more of a physical. You know what I'm saying? Grind. You know, uh, the dude using his mind, top dog, squeezing money out and enjoying life. You know, for however long he lived it. You know, that's the top dog rep. Vacation, basically. Always talking about a vacation, something like that. So, so nonetheless, you get to Birdman, and he's more more of Master P, basically. Like, I'm taking more trips, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm having more jewelry, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, and now you get to Wayne. And Wayne is interesting because he came out from the game, from Hot Boys. So it's like a bunch of cats together getting money, but they protecting the, the, the business or how, however they get money. And he came out of that. And he was really... Um, you know, he, you know, he was really, uh, he had a new style. He had a crazy new style. He was in the South. That was two. Um, he flipped the gang thing and became into the, the top dog rap. Like, I got jury, I'm taking trips, you know. I don't got no worries, you know what I'm saying? I ain't sweating nothing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In life, like, every day is great. Uh, so he flipped into that during the time when it was flipping into that, you know what I'm saying? Coming from the west to the south, but he was after that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and so... He got on that tip, flipped from the gang thing, got on to the, the pimp tip, and he went with that. Now, he, because he's the child of the product, you feel me, of, he's the pimp's child, right? And instead of, uh, instead of the pimp, okay, okay, let me take you to the gang, okay? We're going from the gang, and then we go from gang into somebody getting a gang and giving this gang money. Like I was saying, everybody, you know, we was already, anyway, it, the game is deep. We was already pimping in the South as far as I'm concerned because it's in my, it's in your blood. So it's like, it's in your mind. You feel me? It's like, it's a crown you get, black boy. You feel me? So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm already on top. So, it, the ball's in the South region now. Okay, now let's show them how much confidence we have without nothing. You know what I'm saying? This and that, this and that, this and that. Okay, so, we wasn't in gangs down here. You feel me? In the South. We wasn't like that. We was more independent men. 
I'm getting my thing, I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm not too sure. Oh, that's what it did. People start recruiting gangs. That's what it is. They start buying protection. And, uh, and, and then that went, and, and, the, and the people, in, like I was saying, this has already been happening. The world's very old. It's already, ain't nothing new. It's already been going on. People been buying protection. Even when they was partying on the block rapping. Then they went, uh, to the West, uh, with the drugs rapping, you know, or east, you know, from the party, not so much to the west, but the east, wherever, from partying to drugs, uh, epidemic, rapping, the ball, that's where the ball is moving. So now the ball went from the NWA talking about the people rolling together, like the protection. That's where the mic was at. The mic was with them, and now the mic. But when they was doing that, it was somebody who was paying them to do it and to hang and be boys and keeping the thing moving and going. I, you know, so I don't know too much about that, but I, I can relate to coming around and putting money in the system to where, you know, your boys will act like your boys, you know what I'm saying, to where they'll be on and popping where you put them on and pick them up. So I can relate to that somewhat. But apparently, game B so it has been going on forever. So it was always somebody pouring money into this group. It was always this group protecting this business. It was always this business that was supplying these people in need. It was always these people in need looking for some relief. So partying and dancing and on the corner or in holes in the wall. So now the ball is moved from the east, west, south to the north, to the northwest coast where weed is legal so it's always west but it's northwest now um so if you in the south if you do not live on the west coast you don't matter rapping like you just rapping because you like to rap and and it's real you rapping about what goes on in your hood cool (laughs) but as far as the world is concerned we on the northwest you feel me the mic, the light, the spotlight. We smoking weed. Uh, we in pit vipers. We in grindings. Uh, we street. We street, meaning I'm talking to pimp stuff. You know, I'm talking father, top dog, no worries in my raps. But it's not on a money tip. It's on on a on a true tip. It's on the street tip. It's on. The, it's not on the top tip. It's on the bottom tip. I'm 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 on the top on the bottom. You feel me? So you know I I'm an elder on the in the streets basically. So you know you know. When you get worried or something happens, you know, people think, oh, well, what is Jose Ken doing? You know, what is Ken Tone doing? You know, where is where did he go when it happened? You know what I'm saying? Then maybe that's what I need to do. So that's just something like an elder, somebody with a lot of experience. You know, something happened. You, you know, well, where did they go? Okay, that might be a good thing. So after the pimp rap, which is over because you got women trying to trend (laughs) you got girls trying to trend and if you pay attention they ain't doing nothing but keeping the pimp in the cage you feel me uh i mean these girls ain't pimps but they pimping you feel me so how you gonna be pimping (laughs) how you gonna be pimping you know what i'm talking about but not saying it. That's because somebody is still hiding. You feel me? That's somebody is still like sitting back. And first they had the gang go out there, and then now they got the girl going out there. It's like man, and which brings me to the point: rap has been, 
you know what I'm saying, hip hop has, was created. And, and that's why you can't, that's why any cat, I ain't gonna blow the whistle, but I'm saying any cat that ain't on the West, ain't in no pit vipers, ain't in grindings, ain't got a grind, ain't going in pie shops looking at 30 different types of strings every day if you want to, ain't talking about rapping and pimping, vacation mentality. Bruh, ain't free, ain't retired, if you ain't talking about none of that, you know what I'm talking about? You ain't on. You you rapping, you rapping in the rap industry, and you rapping in a in a business that ain't popular no more. Uh, what's an example of that? MySpace. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm over here with this Apple shit, with this Facebook. We over here doing Facebook. You know what I'm saying? And y'all over there coming out with. If you open 10 MySpace accounts, you get $100. Like, y'all trying to keep this thing going. You know what I'm saying? That y'all got. When the truth of the matter is, the rap trend is in the Northwest. I'm in a cabin in the woods. Smoked out. In the pit vipers, smoking the best of strains. And when I say the best of strains, it's the strains that undergo tests. They got cats putting themselves under strenuous measures to produce the top shelf bud. More competition, retail to bring it to me at a cheap price. Two ounces for fifty dollars. I got two ounces for fifty dollars at at one point. In a little town on this side of the nation cause, cause we trending you know what I'm saying if you listen to the song Game Spitter on my YouTube channel American Pimp Star 420 that's, there you go there you go if you want to flip it to the uh, R&B tip I can rap that way too uh, every day is a new day listen to that that's like a cool a cool song it ain't really the best but it's cool feels great to see um so i'm not sure how the studio deal is going to work out but i know i'm talking about the right i don't i'm not sure about the music quality you know what i will say this i will say this i see a change coming in music production I see a change in music production coming to where there's going to be a different sound. You know how uh, Neo Soul, when Neo Soul came out? Yeah, that's it. When that shit started feeling, you, feel, you start feeling in your stomach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That America by Do Beats and that D'Angelo, you was like, oh man, that's wow. I feel that. Then that Jill Scott started hitting around when I'm golden and and then Common got on it, you know, he talking about the corner, you know. It was like, and then definitely the roots. It was like that, it was a new sound, it was a synth, that synthesizer, I guess, coming from Zep. But yeah, let me check the time here. Let's see, take a toke here. Okay, I'm going to cut this one and start the next one in.